stop. Where are we going? Oh, just to show the grade eights my crib. I'm so glad you guys can make it. Come on in. This is the heart of the school where everybody comes together. We're just going to show you around the cafetorium. Welcome to the calf. Located in the calf is the servery where the phenomenal bagels are made. And this is the stage where all of our productions and award ceremonies take place. Welcome to the Learning Commons. Right now it's being used as a resource center due to COVID, but normally it is used for classrooms and individual study work time, as there is technology you can use as well as the booth and desk available for you. It's also a great place to hang out with friends. Let's go to Madame Augustino's. Bonjour, ça va? Ça va. Merci, entrez, entrez. Why don't you tell us a bit about yourself? Well, I'm a French teacher here. I've been teaching for close to 20 years here at Holy Cross and um, get a chance to, to go through the program. And I teach from grade nine all the way through to grade 11 usually, uh, both the extended and the core. Um, students that come here, they get an opportunity to choose in grade nine. There's an open level program and then, or they also have, if they want to continue on, there's the, the, the academic or the extended. Um, and then the, they could work all the way through um, to grade 12. Lots of French options. Are there any cool field trips you guys go on usually? Yeah, yeah, usually, again, traditional year for the grade nine to try to get at least one, if not two, like one per semester to go to Montreal for a day trip. Kids usually really like that experience, give them an opportunity to speak a little bit of French. And then the senior grades, we try to organize something that, whether it's, uh, it used to be Europe to some extent, but now, especially with the, the parameters that are in place, most likely it'll be, I'll try and organize something in Quebec City or something to that effect, give them an opportunity to actually be using the French in a kind of well, authentic situation. Sounds like a lot to look forward to. Merci beaucoup. Yeah, yes. Yeah, so another thing to kind of keep in mind for students coming to Holy Cross is that all the courses are geared towards preparing them to ultimately write the DELF at the end of graduation which is a really, really important tool for, for uh, students to, to have on their resume. It's something that is internationally recognized. So if you have an accreditation out through the DELF, it speaks to what your, your French fluency is. So it's super important and a really um, added bonus to have on your resume moving forward. So we highly recommend that for students. Sounds really useful. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. Thanks for coming. <laughs> have a great day. Bonjour. This is the attendance office where you go if you're sick and to sign in and sign out, or if you're late. Now, let's go see our admin. Hello. Here. Hello, is our big boss principal, Mrs. Daniels. Hello. And here you see our lovely VPs, Ms. Co and Ms. Goodberry. Hello, greetings. Welcome. Welcome to Holy Cross. Oh, it's exciting. I hope to meet all of you maskless at some point uh, down the road. That's a personal goal um, to get this pandemic behind us. But in the meantime, excited to think of uh, all the incoming uh, grade nine Holy Cross students and I want to welcome you here. That's one of the jobs that we do is uh, get to know kids and, and help them feel supported and welcomed as well as the staff. Yeah, so you'll often see us wandering the halls saying hello, making sure that everybody feels um, safe and welcome at school. So don't be afraid to say hello and engage us in a conversation. And you'll also find us often in classrooms. So we want to see what you're learning. Um, we, we always like to see the different projects that are going on in the different classrooms. And um, we like to brag about all the great things that Holy Cross students are doing. So we look forward to doing that when you arrive as well. Yeah, so we are really excited. Well, like Ms. Co said, we'll be around the classrooms, around the hallway. So if you have questions, you're, we're, we're always easily approachable. So feel free to come and ask us or if you need uh, directions, we can help you with that and, and uh, support you in your learning. Hi. Hi, welcome. Come on in, Hi. Kathleen. Hi, welcome. So this is the youth worker's office one of them we have two in the school uh, my name is terry uh, i've been here a long time 
but sadly next year you won't find me I won't be here but what I do is I help students deal with any issues that might be an issue for them and if you see a youth worker at your elementary school you'll probably get to meet me um, or you'll get to meet Mrs. Kansian and whomever else will be here. Mrs. Kansian is here Tuesdays and Thursdays and every other Friday and then someone else will be here full time. So anything you want to talk about that's an issue for you and you want it to be confidential, this is the place to come. Room 238. Oh hey, come on in! This is just a typical religion class. Yeah. Woo! It's fun and games here for you every single year. You get to take one religion class. I wish it could be every semester, but it just doesn't work that way. Come on, I'll show you my favorite thing. You know what? Not every school gets to have a drawer of Bibles like that. It's a special thing to be in a Catholic school. We get to meet once a month for mass. <laughs> COVID pending. Well, thanks for stopping in. Bye-bye. Let's go see Mr. Drum. Hello. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Social Sciences Department. Come on in, I'll show you around one classroom that would represent, I guess, different areas of what I call the buffet of different departments. And so if you come back, this would be room 229. This would be my classroom, Mr. Drum. And just to give you an overview of the different history courses that we would have, uh, we would obviously have grade 10 history, which would be a lot of Canadian, the World War, stuff like that. But even in future years, if you wanted, we could do in grade 12, for example, European history and the French Revolution. So if you love Les Mis or anything like that, it's there. Also American history, as you can see from Lincoln. And also at the same time, two even further Canadian history courses. Of course, history would not be the same unless you knew where you were studying, what you were studying. And so there's a lot of different geography classes as well. Of course, you guys are all gonna get grade nine geography next year, but also world issues, physical geography, and you're gonna to get to the, know the world very, very, very well. However, even on the other side of it, if our department is so big, it actually has business courses. So if you like law, lots of law courses. If you like accounting, economics, finance, we'll get you prepared for the world of commerce. And then finally, we offer an anthropology course as well as a human development course in which you learn about all of the psychological effects upon children as you grow older, both from biology as well as socialization. So I guess in summary, if you come to our department, it's like going to a buffet. If you like one area, it'll lead to another and another, and it'll get you prepared for university, college, or wherever you might be. Certainly. What would you like to know? This is for grade eight night? Yes. So students in grade nine are going to have to take a science and they're going to have to take a science in grade 10. There are two different ones they can take, academic or applied. Uh, the academic leads to uh, grade 11 
uh, chemistry, physics, and biology. Uh, and then they can take uh, grade 12, uh, chemistry, physics, biology. We also have a health science in grade 12. We have a environmental science, which is connected to our outdoor ed program in grade uh, 12. Uh, we also have college biology in grade 11 and college uh, chemistry in grade 12 for students who are looking at the health sciences, uh, paramedics, firefighting, things like that. What else would you like to know about our science department? Well, what are some of the cool things that we get to do in science class? So the students in biology dissect a pig in, in uh, grade 11. We don't force students to do it, but most students do it and it's one of their highlights of their uh, times in high school science. In grade 11 physics right now, we're about to make electric motors and speakers, which the kids seem to enjoy despite the early frustrations they have with it. Is that not, not true? <laughs> no, that's, that's true. <laughs> um, and then uh, the, the grade 12 programs are a little bit more academic, trying to get those students ready for um, all the various opportunities that exist for uh, the university science programs, which the world is in need of more science people. Awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. I'll get back to my chemicals here. Rose, what are you guys reading? Oh, welcome. Come on in. Here's a grade 10 uh, English classroom. Hi, grade 8s. Um, what, I guess I'll tell you a little bit about what we do in these classes. At Holy Cross, student voice is really important to us, so we often uh, try and incorporate some choice into our reading. Right, guys? So this year, they had the choice between these books. Every single day, we read and we write. So we have some great student example here of some writing prompts that we do. Um, and we look forward to meeting, meeting you guys next year. Thank you. Hi there. Hi, this is our chaplain, Mr. Kropman. Hi everyone, hope you're keeping well. Uh, we head over to the chapel. Um, so as, as was mentioned, I am a chaplain here at Holy Cross, and you might be wondering what a chaplain is. Um, so I'll let you go into the chapel first, and I'll continue in a moment. Sorry, just to continue. So a chaplain is basically responsible for the faith life of a community. So here at Holy Cross, I organize retreats. I organize school masses in the gym. I also do class visits often. We do different types of prayer. And uh, being in the chapel, we also do class masses here in the chapel. Uh, so I have to apologize. It's a little disheveled at the moment. We're kind of putting stuff back together. The walls are just painted this beautiful off-white. <laughs> but, but yeah, so basically I'm here to chat about anything. I have an office. Um, we can chat about any questions you have about faith, anything that's going on in your life. Um, but other than that, I'm here just to make sure that we have a good connection with the churches in the area and that we uh, keep our Catholic faith strong. I can't wait to meet you all. I teach your grade eights here at Holy Cross. We're awful lucky to have a gym uh, this big. Um, if you uh, guys come here next year, you'll be able to work out uh, before school, lunchtime, or after school. Uh, real good spot here to, uh, to uh, pump those weights. Have a look. So this is the dance mm -hmm. studio. Seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hey, grade eights, welcome to the dance studio. Um, there are so many opportunities for you to get involved in dance at HC. You can take the grade 10 dance course and actually get a credit for dancing. So exciting. And we have a team too. So if you're at a competitive level and you want to audition for the dance team, this is a great time to do it. You'll spend lots of time in this space and in the drama room space. Uh, so many opportunities to get involved. Not, not dancing. No. Hey, come on in. <laughs> Welcome. Hello. So we are the the instructors or teachers for the Holy Cross Outdoor Ed program. My name is Mr. White. My, my name is Mr. Hunter and welcome to our portal. Um, we're here today to talk to you kind of what uh, we do here in the Outdoor Ed. One of the first things that we do in winter activities is that we, we go snowshoeing, uh, we go cross-country skiing, ice fishing, uh, we like to build Quincy's. Uh, then we start to transition uh, into maybe 
uh, some as biking. The, as the weather gets nicer, we'll we'll do uh, mountain biking. We'll bike around the community. We'll bike down the Lemoines Point. We uh, we play a lot of outdoor games in the bush uh, close nearby. We do uh, orienteering races. We do uh, we build outdoor structures, uh, survival structures. Um, our, we, we, we build fire. We build fire and go camping. Uh, when the weather's nicer, we do canoeing. And this year we haven't been able to do that due to COVID, but uh, we normally do canoeing. And uh, if you want to take a look around the classroom here a little bit, you'll see some of the, some of the stuff that we've done, some pictures. These are, these are pictures of uh, our previous class trips, some of the activities we've done. Uh, you'll notice there's some different stuff hanging on the walls, like snowshoes and maybe some outdoor animals, that sort of thing. Um, another thing we do is uh, life lesson stuff. A lot of stuff that you can, you can use in lots of areas of your life, like knot tying. So one of the units we do is tying knots. And you can use that uh, throughout your life uh, in various aspects. So a lot of what we do here uh, is very practical and you'll be able to use in all, so all sorts of different situations in life. Look, if you like getting outside, if you like doing things like hunting and fishing and, and camping, we're the right guys for you. Hello, I'm Mrs. Biggs. I am the teacher here in the Life Skills Developmental Center at Holy Cross for grades 9 to 12. Uh, our classroom here, students in here typically have intellectual and developmental disabilities, but they're an awesome part of the Holy Cross community. Some of the fun things we get to do in our program in here are cooking in the kitchen, cooking and baking, and we've always got uh, something fun planned for the day. So whether it's playing outside in the snow, going tobogganing, uh, playing in the gym, uh, or just getting to learn more about each other through having conversations. It's a really fun program and we're looking forward to seeing you. Hi, come on in. Hi. Welcome, to, welcome to the wood shop. My name is Mr. Healy. I'm gonna give you a tour of the tech department today. Come on through here. So while we're here, I'm gonna show you this room here. This is the tech design classroom. This is where we use design software to build all sorts of different structures. Okay, come on this way, into the transportation shop. So in here, as you can see to the right, we have students working on a shop vehicle. And over here, we have our grade 10 project, which is small engines. Okay, in this classroom, we, we learn all sorts of things from land, air, and sea transportation. Follow me back this way. Okay, in through this way, this is the wood shop. Over here we have our CNC router where we make our plaques and our signs. And then back through here is our workshop. Okay, so right over here, we have our grade 10 projects. So these projects here are what our grade 10s design and build, and they actually get to take them home with them. And follow me over here. This is our grade 11 and 12 project. Right now we're working on a bathroom renovation and we are almost at the tiling stages. Okay, as you can take a look around, we have our shop here with all brand new tools. Come on this way. Okay, in here, this is our computer engineering classroom. In this room, we, we focus on robotics, computer disassembly, 3D printing like these items over here. We also focus on circuit building and arcade building. Here we are now in our photography classroom. So this is a classroom where our students actually design and create a yearbook. And as you can take a look around, there's photos all over the wall here that our students have taken. And follow me now. Hi everyone, welcome to the communication technology classroom. So in this classroom here, if you want to take a look around, we do digital imaging, graphic design, photography, video, audio, desktop publishing, and animation. Now follow me this way. In this classroom here, this is our computer programming course. This is where we learn how to program. 
Okay, if you want to take a look over here, here's some of the tools that we use when we're programming, and here's a couple of games that we've made uh, in this programming course. Hi, I'm Mr. Janago. I'm the Athletic Director at Holy Cross, and some of you may have been in Holy Cross and, and part of our athletic programming in the past through our Spring League, Small Ball Little Kickers, and our Crusader Summer Camps. And if you have been here and come down towards the gym, you may have noticed these cabinets that we have towards the gymnasium. And these are an area where we try to uh, show some of the accomplishments of our championship teams and individuals. So this past fall, prior to the pandemic, every single one of our fall sports teams either won a CASA championship or made the city finals, which is a pretty remarkable accomplishment. So if you follow me into the gymnasium, so this is our first of two gyms. And if you have a look up towards the ceiling, you'll notice that there's banners hanging around the gym. And these banners represent the 33 different sport teams that we have at Holy Cross. And so we pride ourselves on having a sport team for everybody. So our sports range from cross country to swimming, to alpine skiing, to ice hockey, to football. So we have a number of different sports. And you'll notice that the years on the banners, they represent the different championships that we've won, be it a CASA, so a city championship, or an OFSA, a provincial championship. Our sports teams take advantage of our full-size track and field that we have at the back of the school, obviously snow covered right now. We make use of the Invista Centre, both their turf field and their ice rinks, as well as multiple other turf fields around the city. Uh, we have two full-size gymnasiums that are beautifully maintained. We've got a weight room that is second to none in the city. So we hope that next year you are able to come out to Holy Cross and join us on one of our many sport teams. <laughs>
also known as Deb, educational assistant here at Holy Cross, Nishkwe. We were just wondering if you could tell us a little bit about the Indigenous opportunities at Holy Cross. Oh, there's so many wonderful opportunities here at Holy Cross, but if we have to narrow it down to the Indigenous opportunities, you can celebrate being Indigenous here without feeling that you, you'll be ridiculed. And we also have programs designed specifically with Indigenous content, just like this room down here, this English room, NBE 3C, which is a grade 11 English program, but the difference here is it's all Indigenous content. So all of this English class is based on Indigenous culture, Indigenous authors, wonderful opportunities to learn in here. And here is the incredible teacher, Ms. Greenwood De Silva. Oh, hello! Come on in. Welcome to our classroom. So we, I see you met the lovely Deb. She's fantastic. Um, so what are we doing here? Well, I'm sure that you already know, but Kingston's located on the sacred ancestral grounds of the Haudenosaunee and Anishinaabe people. So we are teaching a course now where we discuss Indigenous literature from uh, newer authors. So for example, we have The Marrow Thieves by Cherie Dimmeline. We've got Dead White Writer on the floor, my favorite, by Drew Hayden Taylor. And we've got Toad Talker by Joseph Bruchak. So, you know, a little bit of a nice twist. We're not reading the same old uh, stuff written by a dead white guy. So that's really, really nice. Just trying to make a bit of a change up in here and actually reading some newer Canadian authors. So grade eights, as you can see, there are many opportunities for you to get involved in arts, athletics, and academics. There are also many different resources here to help you be successful throughout your four years. Thanks for tuning in. We're excited to see you guys next year. One, two, three. <laughs> no, I just so dropped.